Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about thyroid cartilage. Now, it is a cartilage of larynx. As you know, total number of cartilage in larynx are nine, three paired and three unpaired. So, this one is the largest out of all nine cartilages, and it is considered as unpaired cartilage. Now, this thyroid cartilage has got two lamina. See, this is one lamina, and this is other, and these two are connected in the midline. below the thyroid notch see this now this prominence is termed as adam's apple or thyroid eminence which is more visible more prominent case of adult males now these two lamina are connected in the midline whereas they are separated behind to form part of arch okay. individual lamina has got outer surface inner surface it has got uh, anterior border which fuses to the opposite lamina it has got posterior border which elongates above and below to form superior and inferior cornu it has got superior border and an inferior border okay particularly the inferior cornu is connected to the cricoid cartilage below to form cricothyroid joint which is a synovial joint and which helps in gliding at this joint and this gliding will lead to stretching of the vocal folds okay particularly via action of cricothyroid muscle which would be over here okay. and this is superior cornu which is related to the thyroid bone above okay here would be along the superior border here would be thyroid membrane and below would be the cricothyroid membrane over here bridging the gap between cricoid and thyroid posterior lamina are covered with mucous membrane and that will form part of the laryngeal cavity and here would be the true and false vocal cords the conus elasticus the quadrate membrane all the muscles the vocal cords everything would be over here so this will form part of the laryngeal cavity again this will form part of the piriform fossa so this is regarding thyroid cartilage hope you understood well thanks for watching